Tucked away in beautiful evergreen, a serene and historical tourist attraction awaits. This is Haiwan Homestead Museum, a real treasure in Jefferson County. It's not just that it's beautiful and it's pleasant. Uh, it's just something special that you, you feel when you walk in the door. Life slows down at Haiwan Homestead Museum. The rustic surroundings take you back to a simpler time. Sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. This is just a, a wealth of uh, early evergreen history. There's a little bit of uh, everything within that house that will appeal to a great number of people. And there is a serenity about it that I can definitely feel when I walk through the front doors. This is a comforting place to come to. Mary Neosho Williams, a wealthy Civil War widow, bought the property in 1893. Her daughter, Dr. Joe, was one of the first women to earn a medical degree in Colorado. The Williams family called it Camp Neosho and hired an architect from Scotland named Jock Spence to convert an unfinished hay barn into a beautiful log cabin. So it grew out from this one room over the years to the point where now it's 25 rooms with a story and a half chapel inside. Jock Spence not only excelled in uh, carpentry, he was a noted stonemason. So throughout the house there are seven beautiful fireplaces. There are several outbuildings, including the architect's old tool shed. The very toolbox used by Jock Spence is on display. There's also a stone playhouse built for Dr. Joe's son, Eric. He and his friends shared some happy memories here. And today, children love to visit this special place. They also love the one-room schoolhouse, a true representation of what a classroom was like in 1876. There are educational programs galore, where children make real journey cakes. What's our next ingredient is ground clove. And even learn to spin wool. Make sure the handle like this is like this, and then you go like that, like see? And then you go like that to escape it. Learn and enjoy are the two things you're going to do here because the fantastic architecture, the beautiful surroundings, sometimes the wildlife that you see here, it's just, it's an amazing getaway for people. Visitors have always been welcome. The Williams family threw wonderful parties, making Evergreen a hot spot for the rich and famous. Robert Frost stayed here in 1931. After Dr. Joe's death, the Douglas family sold the camp to Tulsa oil man Darst Buchanan. He and his family renamed the property the Haiwan Ranch, and it grew to 15,000 acres over the next 30 years. It's the warm history of the Williams and Buchanan families that resonates here. I believe that the families that lived here before uh, lived a productive, uh, happy life, and. Those old walls in there exude that happiness. There's a, a sense of contentment within the building. Sometimes I walk through and I talk to the former owners you know, and thank them for creating this place for all of us. From the late 1800s to the 21st century, Haiwan Homestead Museum continues to delight visitors with its beautiful historic architecture in the setting of Jefferson County open space. You can visit for free and, uh, and enjoy it up here, and we hope many people will come up and visit us. Thousands of visitors have taken this magical trip back in time, and the doors are open for you.